Hello. Hello, everyone. We are going to do our first part of our cross body sew along. So I'm just going to wait. I'm in here a little early, so wait a few minutes here and when some people come in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change a couple things too. Just waiting for everybody to get here. Okay, I am live. Oh, there's everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay, one second. I'll be right with you. Trying to change some stuff here on the fly. All right, I guess I'm going to have to go back and do it later. All right, no problem. Hi, everybody. Are we ready for these so long? I'm excited about this. Um, hoping that this uh, way that I'm doing this is going to be helpful. I have recorded myself doing some steps, and but I thought I'd be live, and that way I can take questions um, as well. So um, that's kind of was my thought. Hi, Brenda. How are you? Hi, Lynn. Nice to see you. Kathy Ann. Barbara. Paula. Hexa, Zila, nice to see all of you guys. Um, this is a beautiful pattern. I love this pattern. It is the most, the nicest gift. And if you haven't printed it out yet, here it is. I did put the link to it in the Facebook group. But after this is done, I'll go in and put the description and I'll have the link to this um, pattern. It's completely free from RLR Creations, and it's a wonder. They have great patterns. If you're ever looking for bag patterns, they're very descriptive, very good directions. So, hi Ruth. We are making this crossbody bag. So that's what we're gonna be doing. It's a free pattern. It takes barely any fabric, and today what we're gonna do is put together the top. Um, I'm doing mine in full leather, but you can do it in any fabric that you wish. So I'm going to wait till straight up 4 o'clock to start doing the um, demonstrations. But what I did was I did record uh, myself doing some of these steps instead of, you know, trying to do it when we're online. But then I'll pause and it will answer questions and that kind of thing. So I hope this is going to be a good format for us so long. We will see. Um, when I This is a great trial for me because I'm when I'm ready to open up the Patreon, which is pretty soon. I know, guys, I just want it to be good. That's all. So what I'm hoping then is that we can do this only in Zoom so that you can also show me what you're doing. So this is sort of a trial run for that. Nope, it's not frozen here. Let's see, Brenda. Wish I could say good, but my mother-in-law. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. We'll be praying for her. Definitely pray for her. Must have been you, uh, Paula, because it did not freeze on this end um, that I know of. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to pull it up here so I can sort of monitor that. All right. Trying to get it to where it's live. Okay. All right, is it four yet? We'll give these guys a few more minutes because I did say four o'clock, so I don't really want to start until I know everybody who's going to be is going to be here. If you experience any freezing or anything like that, please let me know. 
Um, I got a new cord for my camera, which I think is working out much better. So, um, it wasn't that it, it wasn't that it was out of focus or anything, but it just, the video looked like, you know, Betamax back in the day. Didn't look that great. So, um, I got a new cord for recording these things and I hope it's doing better. Uh, I have learned so much about live streaming in the last year and a half <laughs> between doing it for my church and doing it for the channel. I've learned a lot <laughs> and there's more to learn. So, um, yeah, somebody asked me the other day about doing a, a video on how to start a YouTube channel, um, on sewing. So I'm, I might do a, here's what it takes, you know, um, here's how to start. I might do a video like that if there's enough interest. Um, maybe that's somebody's New Year's resolution. I don't know. Um, maybe it'd just be good to know what all goes into it. So in case you're ever thinking, okay. Brenda, I'm so sorry. Oh, is your mother-in-law, does she have COVID or is it something else? Um, I want to love to pray for her. I don't know why it's not showing me the, okay. All righty, roll call. <laughs> Let's see. I want to show. No. Hmm. Oh, well. Somebody make a comment so I know it's not frozen here because I'm not seeing anybody write any comments. There we go. Ah, there it is. <clears throat> yes, it will be posted. I'm going to keep them all up um, so that if you can't watch the subsequent ones, you'll be able to um, still get the directions. Hello from Australia. Hi, Veer. Verna. Sorry. Duh. Verna. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Hi, Sandra. Nice to see you. Hi, Dee. You're going to recognize the fabric I'm using for this bag. Thank you, Miss D. <laughs> I have a, a little niece who is, or my niece's daughter, who is uh, really into music like I am, so I thought it'd be neat to make this for her. Hi, Diane. Hi, Annette. Car seat cape. Those are so great. I love those. Um, yeah, because they can't have their little coats on in the car seats anymore. I can see because there's like all coat and no, and no baby. That'd be real easy for the baby just to slide out. So, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and um, just... start off and tell you a little bit about the pattern. So this pattern is from RLR Creations and it is the Mela Little Bucket Bag and it's a, it's kind of a small bag. It's nice for like a preteen or teenager or just to travel with if you like something small to just travel with. And um, you can use faux leather or um, 
fabric on the top and bottom. You can use faux leather for any part of it, really. Um, it's just the sky's the limit. And it has a little zipper pouch on the back and an inside pocket. So it's got a lot of details for being a small bag. So um, what we're going to do today is construct this top piece right here. Okay, and I'll show you. Um, I have it done here. So this is the top piece that we're going to do today. All right, it has magnetic snap. And then tomorrow, we'll be putting on the connectors on the sides and then doing our top stitching around here before we start on the um, exterior of the, the middle part of the bag and then the bottom part of the bag. So, but this is a good place to start. Now, you can do it however you want. Um, the directions call for making the connectors first. I just go and, you know, we don't need them yet, so let's just do this part first. But it's up to you if you feel bound by doing the exact order that they say. <laughs> by all means, go right ahead. Um, but uh, also, I don't necessarily cut everything out beforehand because um, I am... I tend to lose pieces or especially a bag this small, they're similar in size and I'll use the wrong one and get myself into trouble with sizing and things matching up. So I tend to cut things as I need them with a project like this, but you can do however you want. So for today, I just cut out the, um, the four, let's see, we were working with two pieces today, the top, and the stabilizer. This I cut two pieces of Thermalam out and this one I cut four of the faux leather and four light interfacing. Okay, I did fuse the interfacing on but what I did was I just did it very lightly and kind of checked to see if my iron was um, doing anything to this faux leather. Be careful that you don't melt your leather or vinyl, whatever. Um, I did go ahead and use it, although I don't know, with stiff full leather, I might not have really even had to do that, but I just did because it was on the instructions. So I'm going to play the first um, little section. Now, what I think the best way for, for it to be helpful to you is to watch it all the way through now and then go back and you can just play it to, you know, the section that you need and uh, maybe you just see it once and you can do it or if you need to play it so far pause it do the step etc i kept it really uh easy for today because um well not that nothing on this bag is hard anyway but just thought you know to get the hang of the um the way that we're doing this all right so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna play you the first part and if you have a question uh, feel free to type it. I'm going to pause between each thing and answer questions. Okay, so here we go with the first little bit. <clears throat> so I have everything I need. I have the pattern printed off. And in the very back are the pattern pieces that I'll need to cut from. I have my D-rings and hook things for the straps. I have magnetic snaps for the inside. I have faux leather for the top and bottom. I have this for the exterior. I have this for the interior. I have some, here has some Pelon 809. And I'm ready to cut this out. All right, back to this camera here. Um, so pretty much that's just going over what you need. So then at this point, you would go ahead and cut everything out um, that you're gonna use today, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna play you the next part. All right, I fused all the interfacing Welcome on very lightly because this is faux leather. So I don't want to damage the leather in any way. So I'm going to do is I'm going to mark down one and a half inches from the top. And make a 
another a line across there as as per the directions so one and a half down so this is what we're going to go by and one and a half down and then perpendicular and then I'm going to just take those two pieces and make sure that when we put them together, they're going to line up. Yep. So we're going by this lower one. All right. Now I'm going to apply the magnetic snaps. Basically, what you're going to want to do is um, use an awl or something pointy to uh, put holes right there. So what you're going to do, okay, you've got the magnets and the receptors, okay? So you're going to take this and lay that right on there. And then what you're gonna do is just, and mark those two little spots. And that's what you're gonna do is you're gonna put those two little slits in the fabric from the other side. Okay, all right. So we know where those are gonna have to be. What I like to do is just take my scissors, the other end of them, and go ahead and make those slits like this being careful not to go too far. You don't want them too open. All right, I'm pausing there because I had to re rewind it back and start that part over again because I uh, cut my finger. <laughs> so don't do it the way I started to do it. Um, and I didn't really have the right scissors um, at that point. Not sure what that was, but um, I didn't have the right scissors at that point because I, um, you generally use the little ones that I do buttonholes with. And um, yeah, I tried to do it with those big scissors and I cut myself, which is just horrible. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick that up um, at the right one then. <laughs> All right, so once you have those marked, you're gonna just make little slits right where you marked it. So, the, so you can put those snap parts through okay and i'll do it again with this one see how you have the snap thing all right so then on one side you're going to put the magnet part so we're going to go ahead and put the magnet part through these Make it large enough here. These are just tiny little scissors that I use for um, buttonholes and whatnot. They're very, very sharp. All right, so there's the magnet piece and then this piece goes right on top. And you just open these prongs up. Okay. And you've got that section in there. And then you have the other two pieces that we're gonna put on this side. And let me just make sure those are opened up. All right, 
And we're gonna put this through. little thing on there and open it up and these are these are from Hobby Lobby they're really pretty hard to bend more than normal so I guess that's good in a way because it means it's gonna stay where you put it I guess but it's a little hard for these little arthritic hands all right, so now you can see that when you put these together, they will sing, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do, according to the directions, is we're going to right sides together. We're going to sew a half-inch seam all the way there, okay? Same with this one. Half-inch half inch seam here and a half inch seam here, all right? Um, not, not going down on here because we're gonna connect those in a moment, but first you're just gonna sew there and there, all right? We'll go to the machine and do that. All right, so uh, any questions with that so far? Pretty straightforward. Um, this, is, this is a super easy bag to make, so um, not gonna have too much trouble with the faux leather at this point because the bonded side is what's going to be down on the feed dogs. However, if you when you get to the part where you might be um, having the leather actually on your feed dogs, you might want to consider a Teflon foot. I have one. It was supposed to be for 9mm Janome's, but for some reason it's not fitting my um, whole, uh, feed dog. So I have to go and see if I got the wrong one or what, but um, I don't think I'm really gonna need it for this bag anyway, but that's just something you wanna keep in mind is to have a Teflon foot. All right. All right, I'm gonna take you to the sewing machine now and just so you, show you how to sew this. If you have questions, just jump in. I'll say hello now to Mari and Dot and Libby and Nancy. Thanks for uh, your kind words. I'm glad to be back. Guys, I've been struggling with some pretty nasty back pain, so I apologize for my absence. Um, right now, fighting with insurance to get an MRI, but um, all will be well. I've been down this road before, so it'll all be okay. I just have to make listen to my body when I need to rest. I need to rest, so I apologize for being AWOL. <laughs> so, all right. And also a worship leader at Christmas time. I don't even have to tell you. You know how busy I am. <laughs> That's like consuming. <laughs> so here is the um, sewing machine part of this. We're going to be doing a half an inch seam. And if you want to, you can use some clips to kind of keep it together. You don't have to worry about the leather sticking on this step because the backs are both what is there. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. This is my half an inch seam allowance. Pivot. bags is fun and actually really easy. Once you've done one, you can do them pretty easily.
Okay. Now the next thing is we're going to cut that seam allowance to a quarter of an inch. Really small. So now once you've done that, you can finger press it open so you'll have your, your curved top all done. Make sure you, you know, give it a, some definite finger pressure there. You see how that's taken shape? All right, do the other one. Turn it and press it with your fingers. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to match these seams here on the sides. Making sure that that meets where it should. Put a clip there. And you can clip on the end as well if you'd like. And here. On both sides. Well, if you can do one at a time, I think that'd be easier. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and do another half inch seam right there. If it's not wanting to go over for you, just uh, you can use a hump jumper if you need to, or just kind of wiggle it. All right. Now let's do the other side. Same thing on the other side. you're going to trim these as well right down to the quarter of an inch okay and now what you should have is the top all ready all ready to go there's the snap all right and then tomorrow our first order of business is going to be to put these connectors on right here and we'll do some top stitching up here and then we'll get ready to do the center and the bottom of the bag it's very easy all right so tomorrow, you can have the rest of it cut out uh, if you like. All right.
right, so that is how far I took it for today. I realize it's very, very simple. A uh, couple questions I want to ask you guys. Do you like this format of doing a sew along? Because I'm really enjoying this. Um, I feel more, a lot more connected than just talking into a camera. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I also, I bought some new um, brackets for my camera above my table and above my sewing machine. I think those are working out well. I'd love your feedback on that because I want to do more hands-on things with you in the next year. So um, I still love our chatty lives too, but um, you know, I also like to do some live sew alongs. And to me, it's hard to like make you guys wait while because I, I dropped a pin on the floor or this or that. So I think like recording it and then being here for questions is maybe a little more productive use of time. But um, let me know if you like this format. This is something I'm considering for Patreon. Only this, the next step for this would be that it would be on Zoom and that I would see what uh, you guys have done as well. So um, anyway, um, yeah, so this will be posted. Um, if you miss a day, you know, if you miss a day here, it'll be posted um, online so you can finish the project. And uh, basically that's it for today. Um, how is everybody? It's been so long since I've had a chance to, sorry, my mouth is very dry. It's been so long since I've had a chance to catch up and I feel really bad that I haven't been able to. Okay, good. Thank you so much. I'm actually making three of these bags. I thought, well, you know, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I have three preteen girls I need to buy. I know do a gift for and I thought you know what I'll just make three of those bags so I'm making the music one and I've got let me see here I've got black feathers for another one and I have this, scraps of this anyway, uh, sort of mermaidish print that I think will be kind of cool. So that's um, that's what I'm planning on making for this. I have navy faux leather for this, and then excuse me, this will be the black. I think that'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> so, what kind of um, prints are you guys using um, for yours? I can't wait to see everybody's on the Facebook group. If you are new to the channel, um, definitely join the Facebook group because we all post pictures of our latest projects. So um, you will definitely want to do that. Um, let's see. I was going to show you a photograph too. Let's see. I'm going to show you a picture here. See this scalloped edge? I am going to be doing a video, right? I actually have it filmed already. I just need to um, probably first the next week I'll put this on. This is my Christmas dress and I did a scalloped neckline on the Tessa. So this could be actually done to any pattern, which is why I thought it would be really cool to, um, to do that for uh, a video. So I just want to show you that, something coming up. And let's see. My hair does not want to stay back today. I'm having a bad hair day. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have all the makeup I usually have on either today. You just got me. <laughs> so I had a meeting at church about Christmas Eve, and then, you know, it's just one of those days. Um, very busy right now. So this is a lot of fun. It's a nice escape. So thank you, Gail. I missed you guys so much. Um, I've been trying to keep up with the... Um, Facebook group and at least check in on what you guys are making. Um, I wasn't gone that long, but it felt like it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what kind of things we could do with this format because um, some new, new software, my new Mac made this possible. So it's kind of cool. Um, yeah. Do you guys have any questions about the um, so the this first part of the sew along? It's pretty easy, but 
Um, if you have any problem going over this seam here, you know, keep in mind you could have a lot of, you know, with a thermal lamb and thicker fabric. Um, if you struggle there, don't forget to just use your hump jumper if you need to. Dot D's is for a two and a half year old. You're going to do cafe. Oh, oh make me one with cafe. <laughs> Cape facet fabric. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah, I would, yeah, wait and do that one for yourself. <laughs> That's amazing. I would, um, if I had Cape facet fabric, I would do it for myself. Um, <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm showing it, not for a two and a half year old. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see what you guys do, too. Um, you know, if I'd have thought about it, I probably had 10 people I could have made these for this year. So I made one for my granddaughter for her birthday last year, and she loved it. So um, hopefully the girls who are receiving this will love it as well. I have one that's two and a half. Maybe I could get away with just making her one, too, but I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm doing. I've got two little ones. Um, they're very into the Disney movie Inside Out. So I'm thinking about doing some kind of a sweatshirt hoodie or something and then uh, getting some heat transfer vinyl and putting that on there somehow. So I don't know. But this is for my sweeties in Texas. So <laughs> um, and then one uh, one girl here that is actually she's my pastor's daughter and she's a sweet little girl. So always try to do something for her as well. All right, so um, any news? Uh, Brenda, I don't know if you answered, but what, what is your mother-in-law in the hospital for? I'd love to pray for her. It's live. I can't see you, but I can see what you type. <laughs> Yes, the I and I, as soon as I get off here, I'm gonna do the description of this video, you know, for and I will put the link to the uh, pattern in there. It's also in the women's um, the ten top ten things to sew for women. Um, after that video, a lot of you guys asked me to do a sew along with this bag, so I thought, why not? I need to make some gifts anyway, and they'll help me get my stuff done and help you guys accomplish your list too. And, um, yeah, so I will be praying for your mother-in-law, Brenda, and, um, yeah. All right, well, tomorrow, um, if you want to cut out the rest of the pieces, you can. I, I cut them as I go, as I, I, if you weren't here in the beginning, when I have a project this small that has a big cut list, I generally cut the pieces as I need them so that I don't lose them because when I have a bunch of small rectangular pieces and then I grab the wrong one and it messes everything up so I tend to cut them as I need them but you can do however you like um, it does show you cutting everything at once um, on the instructions but that's just what I do so. all right I will see you guys tomorrow um, I open it up for questions at the beginning in case you hit any snags and then we'll proceed to doing the rest of it. All right, 2.30 tomorrow instead of four because I have my little munchkins coming at four and they're gonna be spending the night with me. And yeah, so that'll be a lot of fun. All right, you guys have a great evening and I will see you tomorrow. Looking forward to it.